Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now as a longtime fan of The Haunted Mansion, one of the effects that I've always wanted to try and recreate is Pepper's Ghost. Now you'll recognize it most commonly from the ballroom scene at The Haunted Mansion, but there's a lot of different applications for this technique. So in this video, I'm going to take a plastic bell jar and turn it into a Pepper's Ghost effect. And as an added bonus, I'll show you how to make a fake book out of a cardboard box. So let's get to it. There's a few different ways to achieve this effect. But the method of Pepper's Ghost that I'll be using in this build starts with a jar and a piece of clear reflective material, like acrylic. This material will be inserted into the jar and placed at a 45 degree angle to the viewer. Then a video with a black background is placed directly beneath the jar and acrylic and parallel to the ground. As a result, the video appears to the viewer to be floating inside the jar. I found this plastic jar at the dollar store and cut a thin piece of acrylic to fit its curve. This can take some trial and error, so you may want to make it from paper first and then transfer your design to your final material. The next thing I'll need to do is remove part of the jar's base to give the video a way to reflect off of the acrylic. So I marked off where the acrylic sat inside the jar and then cut away the inside with a utility knife, leaving a shelf for the acrylic to rest on once the jar was closed up. I'll be using an iPad mini to play my video file, but I'll also need to hide it from the viewer. And for that, I'm going to make a fake book from this old cardboard box, starting with marking and cutting out an opening for the screen. Once the opening was cut out, I could start building the book's cover out of some more cardboard. I measured out a half inch reveal around the outside edges and cut a separate piece for the spine, which I could then glue to some three millimeter craft foam with a bit of PVA glue. The piece of foam I had wasn't quite wide enough to wrap the entire book. So while I waited for the glue to dry, I decided to grab a 5mm piece of craft foam, cut to the dimensions of the spine, and beveled the edges with the sanding drum of my rotary tool. Then I added some 3mm foam details, which will help to cover up the gap between the front and back covers. Then I can wrap it in some more 3mm foam to help give it a more uniform appearance. When the glue had finally dried, it was time to trim up the foam, and then I could fold it over the cardboard edges and glue it in place with some hot glue. The next thing I wanted to do was give the foam some texture, like you'd see on an old book. So I balled up a piece of aluminum foil and warmed it up with my heat gun before pressing its texture into the surface of the foam. Depending on how close to the book people may get, this step could be overkill. But it worked really well on a previous project and I thought it would be a nice addition. Plus the heat gives the foam a bit more of a leather-like appearance. While I waited for the cover to cool, I added some additional cardboard and foam supports inside the inner box for added rigidity, and can get to gluing the inner box in place. Off camera, I gave the book a coating of rubberized spray 
which should help to give it a more uniform appearance. And once it had dried, I could add a red accent color with some acrylic paint, followed by a bit of brown wax paint to give it more of an aged look. And once the paint was dry, it was time for a test fitting. At a glance, it looks the part, but let's see how the Pepper's Ghost effect looks. Using transparency film instead of acrylic and removing more of the base would help to sell the effect better, since the light catches on both surfaces, but that might be minimized with a more dimly lit setting. Now there's definitely some things that I would change about it, but for a first attempt, I'd say this was pretty successful. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something.